Koreans who were raised or even born and raised in a country outside of Korea are commonly referred to as gyopos here in Korea, and the number of them that are returning to make a life for themselves in their homeland is increasing by the year. In fact, recent data shows gyopos now make up nearly 15% of all foreigners in Korea. Connie Lee has more. Bien Ho Jian, or Pyeon Hae Yun, as she's known here in Korea, is receiving her scholarship to study in Korea. She's a Korean Chinese who came from China just seven months ago. I'll be studying law at Seogang University. The scholarship given by the Overseas Korea Foundation to dozens of foreign nationals of Korean descent not only gave Bien a chance to come to Korea for the first time in her life, it also gave her better opportunities to study in her field of choice. I found that there are more advanced and developed courses in the area of law that I wanted to study here in Korea than in China. And she's not the only one making the move to the motherland. According to recent data from the Ministry of Justice, the number of foreign nationals of Korean ethnicity surpassed the 200,000 mark for the first time last year. That's a 24 percent increase from the year before. The record number comes from the increasing number of Korean Chinese citizens coming to Korea. In 2008, immigration laws were amended to give Korean Chinese citizens living here similar benefits to Korean citizens, including being allowed to own property and have health insurance. In 2013, more than 67 percent were Korean Chinese. The second and third largest group were the Korean Americans, making up 19 percent, and the Korean Canadians, who made up nearly 6 percent. And for the most part, many come to Korea for the jobs. There's definitely greater interest among overseas Koreans to live in Korea, because Korea has become globalized with many new employment opportunities. And taking advantage of opportunities is what one Korean American is doing. This is about this. 31 year old Kenny Park uses American influences and Korean ethnic background to start a Mexican fusion restaurant in Seoul. Growing up in California, we just have a really vast array of you know, food that's available to us. But when that Korean taco truck trend started to really boom, you know, I kind of woke up one day and was like, hey, why don't we introduce this Korean taco ch trend in Korea as opposed to, you know, doing it in, in America. The popular restaurant has grown, expanding to three locations in the span of two years. I think Korea is, is a, it's such an underrated place to do business and to live as an expat or as a gyokpo. And I think the opportunities are uh, really abundant here. Connie Lee, Arirang News.